Hi guys, welcome to All Things Kawaii. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm gonna be going through my bullet journals slash creative journals. I have three of them. Um, and I just wanted to do like a flip through of them so you could see my different spreads, my bullet journal monthly spreads and stuff like that. So if you would like to see this one is like almost done, but I actually stopped using it and I'll tell you why. Um, if you would like to see the spreads that I have done so far um, since the beginning of last year, or not the beginning, since May 2020 of last year, keep watching the video. And if you love all things cute, stationery related, if you love hauls, if you love Dollar Tree, Daiso, um, and journaling, make sure that you're subscribed and turn on your post notifications. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so this is one of three journals that I have. I picked up bullet journaling, creative journaling, um, May of 2020. I was a very new to it. I've never done this type of journaling. I would always just like write in a diary and decorate with stickers sparingly, but not in this sense. And of course during quarantine, picked it up, was obsessed watching YouTube videos with it, binge watched YouTube videos on journaling. So I decided to do it, but Again, it was during quarantine, so I did not have a bullet journal, and I did not want to order one and wait for it. And of course, I couldn't go to the stores, so I just used what I had. I have this gold metallic, like, faux leather journal. It says, My Thoughts by Studio O. I got this at the Go Calendar store for a dollar. It was on sale for a dollar. They had a ton of stationery. Um, but this is a lined journal, so it's kind of like why I stopped using it. But anyhow, so I'm just going to quickly try to go through the spreads, not spend too long on them. Um... So here, I'm try to like cover my my personal information. Um, this first bullet journal spread, I was trying to get used to things, trying to figure out my way, my style. I did kind of a green theme here. Um, I did a goals page to do. This was my calendar spread and my grateful for. I kind of did like little pockets. Um, and then. I was um, I wanted to do spreads on my favorite thing. So kind of like a creative journal kind of thing. So I would pick an item or something that I was very passionate about or something that I really liked. And I would get onto my computer and print photos and then work around that as my theme. And then I would write about it. So this one, obviously super colorful, is about llamas. Llamas are my favorite animals, very colorful. I did a spread here on sushi, did like the hot pink and like teal color. Um, I was thinking also of doing like a separate anime journal. I don't know. Do you guys think I should do a separate anime journal or should I just keep it with my current bullet journal? I don't know. Let me know what you think. But uh, here's a spread about Usagi or Sailor Moon. And I did that pastel pink and purple and just wrote about her. Um, so at this stage, I was only doing one page spreads. Now I do two pages. Um, it's just a lot more space and I could use more supplies. Um, this one right here, I was just talking about, or writing about kawaii culture and just all the cute things here. And I have this one, which I talked about my YouTube channel when I like revamped it, kind of like, I mean, I had this YouTube channel for a long time, but I never really like posted and I wasn't consistent or anything. And last year, was the year that I decided I wanted to do YouTube like I wanted to actually film videos and be consistent so that's what this was about this next spread is about hamsters and I actually really like this spread I like the green and the pink and these are just super cute these are like little pictures from my computer the spread is about Japan and why I really wanted to go why I still want to visit um, I have like a little map there it's just really cool and then this one actually have a journal with me spread on this. I think this is my first journal with me spread. Um, this one is about pink roses. Pink, pink roses are my favorite flowers, if you don't know. I was, um, I wanted to do spreads on my favorite thing. So kind of like a creative journal kind of thing. So I would pick an item or something that I was very passionate about or something that I really liked. And I would get onto my computer and print photos and then work around that as my theme. And then I would write about it. So this one, obviously super colorful, is about llamas. Llamas are my favorite animals. Very colorful. I did a spread here on sushi. Did like the hot pink and like teal color. Um, I was thinking also of doing like a separate anime journal. I don't know. Do you guys think I should do a separate anime journal or should I just keep it with my 
current bullet journal. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But uh, here's a spread about Usagi or Sailor Moon. And I did that pastel pink and purple and just wrote about her. Um, so at this stage, I was only doing one page spreads. Now I do two pages. Um, it's just a lot more space and I could use more supplies. Um, this one right here, I was just talking about or writing about kawaii culture and just all the cute things here. And I have this one, which I talked about my YouTube channel when I like revamped it kind of like, I mean, I had this YouTube channel for a long time, but I never really like posted and I wasn't consistent or anything. And last year was the year that I decided I wanted to do YouTube. Like I wanted to actually film videos and be consistent. So that's what this was about. This next spread is about hamsters. And I actually really like this spread. I like the green and the pink and these are just super cute. These are like little pictures from my computer. The spread is about Japan and why I really wanted to go, why I still want to visit. Um, I have like a little map there. It's just really cool. And then this one I actually have a journal with me spread on this. I think this is my first journal with me spread. Um, this one is about pink roses. Pink, pink roses are my favorite flowers. And then this one is my June month bullet journal spread. So this month is whenever I decided I wanted to do like a, um, well, the other one had a cover page, but this was the cover page. I think I added more to this. Obviously it was kind of like a pastel beach kind of theme. Um, I have a goals page here, try to do like little bubbles, um, a little to-do list. My handwriting is horrible. <laughs> a little grateful page did like little seashells and then I had my month overview calendar and um, then just a little spread about summer I used a ton of stickers here <laughs> and then I have oh this is when I started doing double two page spreads I think yeah I was like you know what one page is not enough I need two pages so this one was about my hamster Canelo did a whole page about him he's right there he's right there he's oh my gosh he is so precious did it like a very colorful theme here and then again continuing with um like why i wanted to do like an anime journal um this one is all about sailor saturn i love the like holographic and the laser foiling the purple and the black i think this is one of my favorite spreads at the time i'm still to date it's definitely one of my favorite spreads as well as this one this one is about anime inspired lo-fi and this picture is just super aesthetic like we have a young jirai over there sailor saturn i mean it's just i love this spread um and then here is my spread for july very colorful i did kind of like a tropical fruit kind of theme well more like tropical so i like to add like a little quote for the month and yeah, just use a ton of washi tape and different stickers. Here's my goals page. I use like little pineapples. I mean, of course, I don't draw very good at all. I'm definitely practicing because I want to get better. And then this is my to-do list here for the month. And then this is, oh yeah. So here's my grateful page. I did hearts because I didn't know what else to do. Um, this is the calendar page for July. And this was the month that I incorporated weekly spreads so like you know week one week two week three etc i didn't decorate them super intensely because i wanted to be able to write each day just something that went on or something that i'm grateful for or something positive i try to write in it every single day and then i had a memories page for the month i thought that would be a great place to jot down like how my month was overall what did i accomplish what things i should work on for next month things like that so that's what i incorporated for the month of July and then I didn't do any spreads in July and now during this time I was off work this is when I used to work at my old job and um, I was gonna go back in July and then that's whenever I quit and then I got my work from home job um, so I had a lot of free time on my hands I mean it was quarantine I was doing I try to do like three two to three spreads um, a week and I was doing good for a while, but then, you know, I started working and I didn't have time to do that anymore. Um, so as you can see, after July, I didn't have, I didn't do any like journal spreads. Um, so this is the August spread or monthly bullet journal spread. And I did a pastel llama theme. By the way, 
If um, you would like to know where any of like stickers or washi tape or anything like that is from, just leave me a comment down below and let me know just which spread it is and I could let you know where I purchased them. And if I can find a link, I can try to find a link for you. Um, but anyway, so this is my goals page, my to-do list. I did these cute little flowers, my grateful for. I really like these little clouds and then my calendar overview which is very small then I had week one week two week three and week four and week five and then best of August instead I decided to do just like little like sentences instead of writing a whole story and then I decided so in this spread before I was just doing spreads about a specific thing like I was being very like um particular about it I'm like, but this is something that should be fun and it shouldn't be so restricted. So I was like, why don't I just do spreads if I, fa if I feel like I have thoughts that I want to just, you know, pour out onto paper or just talk, like write about my day or something like that. Why don't I incorporate that as well instead of just like my favorite items or favorite things or stuff like that. So this is just about, I don't even know what I wrote about, just cute everything. And yeah. And then September, I think this is one of my favorite monthly spreads too. I love the navies and the golden yellow colors. It's my goals page, my to-do page. I like that I did little triangles and little squares. My grateful, grateful for page. And then I also incorporated a shopping list for the month as well. Instead, um, the previous month I didn't. And then next up, I also decided to do a, a double page calendar spread. I felt like there was just a lot more space to write on and it was just easier and I could decorate it better. So I really, really, really um, liked this. I thought it was like a lot better um, and more convenient, more easier. Um, so yeah, and then just my weekly things going on. The best of September of the month. Again, didn't write in September anything. But you know, that's life. I feel like sometimes some people think when you do journaling, you have to stick to a schedule. Now, I like schedules. I like being very organized. So it was very like cringy for me to not stick to it. But you know, life happens. You don't have to write in it every single week. Um, you can make a goal to do it, but don't you know beat yourself up because you didn't. Um, so anyway, all, obviously Halloween, October. I did an orange and black kind of theme. Um, there's things that I definitely would change about certain spreads, like a lot of stuff. Um, be, I can definitely see my improvements as I go along. You know, I was trying to find my style, my groove with journaling and all of that. So. Um, you improve, you definitely improve. And I think that's really cool. And I think that goes like, you know, with anything. Um, so anyway, here's my goals page. I did some creepy eyeballs. My to-do has some witch hats, which are, <laughs> witch hats, witch. Um, <laughs> they're drawn horribly. And I have a grateful page, um, shopping list, this is the month, week one, two, and so forth and so forth. And the best of the month. And then here's a spread just about I don't even know what this is about. Halloween? Oh, handing out candy. And this one's about Halloween too. I incorporated some stamps here. And then again, didn't write anything in October, but here comes November. Again, one of my favorite, I feel like every month it was just, I liked the themes a lot better. I felt like I was getting more easier or more used to um, using my washi tape, scrap of paper and stuff like that. So obviously it's very fall time. These stickers are so cute. I got those in a sticky club um, subscription. So it's my goals page, I have a to-do, little acorns, my little like super puffy squirrel. Grateful page, my shopping list, and then the monthly spread. So, yeah. And then the best of the month for November. Then again, didn't write anything in November. Here's December. Now, I know some people like to have a journal for each and everything. So some people will just have a specific journal just for monthly spreads and then another journal to do just like anime journaling or book journaling or creative journaling. You know, there's so many different types and if you have a lot of journals and you like keeping them organized like that, you can totally do that. Um, 
I just like keeping it all in one, honestly. I would like to be able to use more journals, but I kind of like just keeping it all in one, if that makes sense. Um, but you could do either or, whatever you're comfortable with. So this is December. Um, these are actually like gift tags that I got from Target a couple years ago. I used those um, for my cover page. And then I have my goals page, these really cool puffy stickers, my to-do page here grateful for it I try to do like a string of lights this I did not like I used wrapping paper and I wrote with like a gold marker you can't even like see it but it's supposed to be the shopping list of like stuff that I did not even need for the month honestly <laughs> this one I try to go for like a little elf vibe thing with this little like bottom border and each week I try to do a little bit of a different color scheme so this one's like blues and like those red and green so And then I just wrote about Christmas. And fast forward, skipping over January, I did not do a bullet journal spread for um, January or February. I just wrote about Valentine's Day. Now, <laughs> I wrote this spread. Okay, so this spread I wrote um, during the really bad winter storm here in Texas where we lost our power, it snowed a lot, and you know, we're in Texas, we don't expect that type of weather, we don't have snow plows, we don't have anything to prepare us for that. Our power grid was not prepared for that type of weather. So, I remember writing that in the dark. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was about Valentine's Day. Then I did this kind of like Easter spring spread about, cause I, ha I did not write from February, didn't write March until April. I was like, where have I been? And then just this random page here that I don't really like. And then I actually have a journal spread on this one as well. Um, yeah, this was just something when I was experimenting more. This is from this year of May. Um, I was getting more used to layering paper. I was not comfortable with that previously, but definitely makes a difference in journaling for sure. And that's the last spread. That's the last one. And that's gonna be the last one. I think the rest of the pages I'm probably gonna use just for like swatches or something. Um, because I'm not gonna use it. I was thinking of just like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish it. But then I got a bullet journal and I was like, mm, yeah, no, I'm just gonna use the rest of the pages to like do swatches or stuff. But yeah, that is my first ever bullet journal, creative journal um, flip through. And yeah, I mean, I have a lot of fun doing it. I try to do a spread now once every two weeks at least. And usually I write about what happened in, you know, during the day or if I had a, you know, if I went somewhere or something like that. I actually just recently did a journal spread about going to the zoo recently. Um, so I mean, you can write about whatever you want. Now I'm gonna quickly just show you these. I don't wanna do like a flip, flip through because there's not enough to do like an actual flip through. Um, but anyway, this smaller one is from Walmart and it's really cute, it has all these cute little animals. There's a llama. So this one is actually supposed to be, was supposed to be my actual bullet journal because it's an actual bullet journal. And I got it last year, you can see there. Um, I was going to use this. It was gonna get rid of the gold one not get rid of it but I wasn't going to use any more and use this because it had bullets but it was smaller so I was like oh great I have less space now hmm yeah and then you'll see my current one that I use but um now this one I'm going to use whenever I'm like going to go somewhere like if I'm traveling or if I'm going to go to I don't know if I was going to go to a Starbucks or whatever and I could take this instead of like you know a big journal or but whatever anyway, yeah so I have this page here, which is like a little pink theme. Again, uh, my my style has definitely like evolved and changed. I'm getting used to colors, um, playing around with like textures and papers, and layering and stuff. And you can get a lot of inspiration from watching videos here on YouTube. Um, there's a very wide assortment of them. So if you're new to journaling, you know, I say just, just do it. Just have fun with it. Don't overthink it. I'm a big overthinker. I always have such anxiety with everything and <laughs> I just needed to learn to like let go and just do it. I'm gonna make mistakes, it's just a journal, you know, so. But anyway, so yeah, this one's a little pink themed one and then I did this like orange themed, kind of yellow themed with this Gudetama 
and I think that's the last one. Oh wow that is the last one so but yeah I am gonna use this continuing like if I'm gonna travel somewhere or if I feel like just writing this one for whatever reason <laughs> I'm just gonna use it for that and then lastly this is my actual journal I think I've done one there we go trying to zoom out here I think I've done one journal with me video with this journal um, this is from five below by the way it's just like really cool like it looks like agate it was five dollars this one is huge like compared to this one and compared to this one you could see the differences now I actually want to get one that's like a standard size bullet journal that's like maybe a tad bit bigger than this because this one does have a lot of space and sometimes I'm like oh my god that, that's a lot of space to decorate I don't know what to do but anyway quick flip through nothing I'm not gonna get into too much detail with it because I I want to be able to finish it and then show you more in detail the spreads but so you can see I write every once in a while like maybe once a week or something and I just write about my day what was going on what happened what happened at work um yeah so you could see the difference in styling compared to over a year ago to how it is now and also <laughs> i have my first monthly bullet journal set up since december of 2020 oh my god <laughs> i missed doing bullet journal monthly setups they are a little time consuming but they're so fun and you know when i started my new job i just didn't have time to do anything i mean i was working you know full time all that stuff and then you know life and um <sighs> you know, hanging out with my fiance and, you know, spending time with my friends and like, um, cleaning and things like that. I just, I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't want, I like sat down. I want to do this. It's going to take me a couple hours. I want to relax and unwind. And I finally did it. And then I did a fruit theme. It's like really colorful, but I really like it. My style has changed so much. I didn't incorporate like all of the other things. Like I didn't do a grateful list or a weekly thing. I might do a weekly thing in my next monthly setup, but um, for now that's what I have. And I still have all these sheets left over. So anyway, those are my journals one and two and three. Um, they're not all my journals, by the way, these are my, um, bullet creative journals and um, I love doing it it's something that I can see myself doing for for the rest of my life forever it's uh, just a great way creative outlet um, to be able to use all my stationery my washi tape scrap of paper stickers and all that stuff and to write about whatever it is whether it is about my day whether I did nothing or I did something um, or a big event that happened in my life or um, writing about my favorite thing or um, an anime character that I really like or I, a store or um, just a monthly setup. I mean, there's so much and so many ideas that you don't just run out of. You just can't run out of ideas with it. But anyhow, um, I hope you like this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you want more videos like this. Expect more journals, you know, journal with me spreads um, and videos. Um, also, I want to do a monthly setup because I don't know. I do have a couple. I think I have two monthly journal setups when I had this journal. Um, I will try to find all those videos. They are on my channel, but I'll try to find all those videos and my playlists. I'll link them down below. So make sure to check them out, watch them. You know they're very relaxing you could just put them on in the background and journal with me or just have them on the background <laughs> but anyway guys thank you so much for spending some time with me um again if you have any questions about where anything is at or where anything is from just let me know which spread and which items and i could if i remember i can let you know and if i can find a link i will link it for you too um but other than that thank you so much and as always stay kawaii my friends and i will see you in the next video okay bye